just had the most scrummy breakfast pancakes coconut yogurt blueberries raspberries and maple syrup oh it's amazing it's very much diy day today loads of things to do the sun is shining which is great so i've just been editing some photos now but i'm going to go outside and do some some building um i'm going to try and, try and create a, a, a veggie patch <laughs> that's today's job as i said it's gorgeous blue skies out there so we're just going to make the most of that head out do a bit of uh yeah do bits and pieces around the garden so instead of being stuck inside at the computer, make a nice wee change. I will come back, obviously, I've got some photos to edit, some little things I was playing about with. I actually decided to put, just, you know, try some various things. I put some, uh, an elastic band around the the lens and stuck some flowers in it um, and shot through the flowers and I just got Claire to, to line the grass uh, reading her book and look at, the, look at the camera whilst I took the, the photo and the kind of, I don't know what flowers they were. Um, forget me nots, I think. I think they're forget me nots. Use them to kind of frame the shot and clear in the middle. Uh, so that turned out okay. Uh, still to play about with it in Lightroom and see what kind of adjustments need done. But in the back of the camera, it looked pretty good. Something a bit different. I actually saw it on, I can't remember, it was like one of those kind of crazy adverts about how to, um, you know, you know, photo ideas and all that kind of stuff, you know, shooting through things and all that kind of thing. So I just thought, well, that's easy enough done. Got rubber bands, I've got uh, flowers in the garden. So that's what I did. So I think since it's such a nice day after building the veggie, raised bed veggie box thing I'm working on, probably go out for a little run, stretch the legs, um, get some exercise in. It's very easy to get uh, caught up with bits and pieces. I've been looking through a lot of old photographs like a lot of people are doing at the moment because you can't take any new ones. So I'm kind of getting dra dragged into that but I'm also trying different things. I am playing about with a program called Notion uh, just for a bit of a structure. Um, it's a kind of database thing so it's it, it's, it's a bit heavy. It's it's fundamentally it starts off with nothing, and you can build on top of that. Um, so I'm using some kind of pre-made uh, um, layouts uh, and and tweaking them so they're they're, they're more um, custom to what I'll I'll want to use them for. But it takes a wee bit of trial and error. Um, but you can get kind of drawn into these things so much without realizing uh, hours and hours have gone past. So, but it's been good. I've had a look at some old photos, trying some different edits and things like that. Um, just, you know, with, with, with knowledge and with the ability of Lightroom. Back in, you know, 2009, Lightroom was a very different beast than what it is now. So you can do a lot more with things. Uh, I'll probably do another video there. So I'm gonna um, look at running Luma, Luminar 4 as well. Uh, it seems to be a big thing at the moment. So I'm going to download that and try some bits and pieces there. Probably do a little video there with my thoughts on that. I'm a wee bit unsure the kind of um, the truth and the moral side of taking photographs and uh, using AI fundamentally to um, tweak, to do things and even to change things quite drastically. You can drop things in it. I know Photoshop does these things and it's not a thing I've really done in the past. I don't do a lot of composites. Um, I don't add things to scenes. Uh, I usually try and do everything with um, in in the camera itself. We get long exposures using uh, graduation, using maybe double exposures like the one I took of Claire when she was, you know, levitating, all that kind of stuff. That was fundamentally in camera, just two shots with part of the shot removed from one of the shots in you know, the chair that she was standing on, that kind of stuff. But when you're actually using some other images and dropping things in to enhance it, I don't know, it's, it, it, it might be a bit of a hard sell for me. But I'm going to try it anyway. Um, I don't have the luxury of just hanging about at a scene and waiting for the perfect sky or the perfect cloud formation or the perfect anything. Um, this isn't a full-time job, I, it's a hobby. So I am... Um, I'm kind of limited for time and when I'm at a scene I know what the possibilities are and if the 
especially landscape wise if the, if the scene isn't presenting that be it the light be it the sky then luminar 4 might be an option but i don't know how i'm going to sit with that as i said i'll have to play about with it and um, i'll make another video on that one just uh, to see what i come up with my thoughts um but yeah and after that i'm going to get the gym stuff on i'm going to go for a run uh, and enjoy the summer's day that is developing outside all right decided to come out for the run a wee bit later uh, but it's still pretty busy everyone's avoiding so you actually run a wee bit further than you ordinarily would because you're avoiding everyone so much but nice place to have a run as you can see right along the beach and it's nice it's dry so far a wee bit of rain further over there but it's good it's all nice anyway i just noticed this cool little bench which uh I've had, I've had, there's lots of benches along here. This has got a little sign on it. I'll show you the sign. And it's just a happy to chat bench, which is really lovely. Uh, it just encourages people that are sitting down there to be aware. Uh, if you want to have a chat, if you want to just discuss things, this is the kind of bench to do, which is a really nice thought. I don't know, it's, it's, to do with, it's to do with the BBC. They've got their website underneath it. Um, BBC News. But, UK and Wales, bizarrely, in the, on the outskirts of Edinburgh, so I don't really know what's got to do with Wales, but that's great. Anyway, there should be more things like that. It just encourages people to discuss, especially this time with everything that's going on. There's probably a lot of people that are very lonely. Ordinarily, their families are come around and see them, uh, but that's just not going to be happening because they're just not allowed to. So uh, it's really quite important that people do discuss. Obviously, not in a situation like this just now because you're not supposed to be next to some people. But in the future, when all this calms down, it's really quite a great thing to have. Uh, but if you do have, yeah, I think it's just so important, if you do have people that are uh, in your family or you know that are alone, drop them a line, uh, let them know that you're there available to chat to, because I can imagine it must be really, you know, quite vulnerable and, and isolating uh, and lonely for a lot of people that don't have people living with them, don't have their family to hand. So, yeah, I just kind of struck home with that. It's, happy to chat bench is really quite important uh, yeah great thing to have